Hey everyone, it is Velvet. Welcome back to more Persona 3 FES. In the last one, we, um, we maxed out the Emperor social link and, um, have resolved ourselves for the final full moon shadow. So let's do one more little gaming session to improve Thor. And then, well, we have a fight to have. Whew. Oh, hey, it's uh, my Berserker Seal and my Protein. What will you do? Sleep, of course. Tonight, the full moon will be full. A powerful shadow will appear. The final battle is nearly upon you. You decide to stay home today and conserve your strength. Just sleep the entire day, why not? Be wide awake for the dark hour. I found it. It's currently at the south end of the Moonlight Bridge. The twelfth and final shadow. Hmm. This is it. And as we expected, there are two Persona users nearby. Strega. They know this is their last chance. Even though we were expecting this, we should still be careful. Those bastards. <laughs> Saves us the trouble of looking for him. You've all done a fine job up to this point. This will be our last operation. Let's all come back safely. So, your party largely does not matter super much, because the bosses we face basically cover all elements, but I think Mitsuru is more of a liability than anyone else, and then which one of Ken and Koromaru is weak to dark? It is Ken. Okay, so Ken's a bit of a liability because of his weakness to dark. But anyone else, I think, is fair game. So I'm going to go with Igis. I'm going to use Yukari as my main healer. And then Akihiko is a sort of off healer and a debuff guy, you know. He's, he's a good all-arounder, you know how it is. Hi, Kutsuki, you want to join the party? Today is the day. Please be careful. Of course. Let's commence the operation. Well then, we should be going. Okay, be careful. Let's go. The final battle has arrived at last. But first, there are two powerful adversaries you must contend with. Moonlight Bridge, South End. There they are. You know the significance of today, do you not? You claim you hunt the shadows to prevent the disaster they bring. Yet countless lives are lost each day without their intervention. The power we wield is not itself evil. You cannot deny that. So why don't you just admit it? You do not wish to eliminate the dark hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves. Mm -hmm. 
Who cares? Who cares? Refusing to answer is the same as turning your back. You are indeed foolish children. Erasing the dark hours the same as erasing yourselves. <laughs> is even that beyond your comprehension? As I believed, our goals are irreconcilable. Jin. Forget these maggots. Fate shall decide who will prevail. Come. Hey, with Thor and Taki Mikizuchi's power, you were able to use Thunder Call. Uh, why not? But also, welcome to Strega with Takaya and Jin. So, Jin, he, his normal attack uses fire, which is why I think... Well, one of the reasons why Mitsuru is a bit of a liability, because he also has Maragion which means he just has a decent chance of hitting you with fire. So Mitsuru is very at risk against Jin in particular. Uh, he also knows Tadukasha, as well as Mudo and Mudon. So he can instant kill uh, Ken pretty easily. Takaya has the Dine skills of the four main elements, Mind Charge and Megido. So he's just a pretty powerful magic dealer. Um, I think Jin is probably the scarier one because of his instant kill, so I think I'm going to focus him. But of course, that all depends on my party. Just to make sure, okay. I could go to Succubus. And that would make me... Yeah, I think, I think Succubus is just all around the safer option. But first, I'm gonna use Thunder Call just because. Ooh, that did a decent amount of damage and they're shocked so it could critical hit both of them. Yep, very nice. I'm gonna be honest. Strega is not a hard fight. Theme song is awesome. Unavoidable battle, great song. Strega themselves are... They're not a very difficult boss fight. They're almost... Disappointingly easy. As you can see... Um... We almost one-cycled them. This is the power of those whose persona awakened naturally. Now you shall be judged. Oh, bye, Ikari. That's fine. Shit! These guys are tougher than I thought. Oh, that's that's not a problem at all. Um, honestly, I guess could probably just they'll probably just be finished off next turn basically at all. I'm going to switch to Succubus though, just for a defensive choice, so they can't choose to once more me. Um, there we go. There's our revival bead. Oh, I might want to switch back. Well, I'm not going to be able to switch back to to Thor for to get the Matadu Kaja for uh, the next fight. Oh well. <laughs> it's just like the movie. Akiko giving Takaya a swift uppercut. Holy fifteen thousand experience. I'm very happy with that. Um, 
Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll do that, I think. That's fine. <laughs> so yeah, Strega's a joke. Damn it! Is their power that different than ours? Different. For us, it's not that simple. It has to be forced out. Didn't your pal tell you? So it was you who was giving Shinji those pills. You guys don't have the slightest clue what will happen if the Dark Hour disappears, do you? It won't matter for normal people, since they don't remember anything anyway. But for us... That's enough. Now then, ordinarily we'd withdraw, but not tonight. This body, as ephemeral as it is, it is worthless without my power. Therefore, only one choice remains. I shall prove my existence here and now. What are you doing? Don't be so reckless! Jin? Sorry, but those are your words, not mine. You win. Looks like you'll get your wish. Go do what you came for. Wait! I'd rather die than surrender to you. Take a good look. This is how we live. Jin and Takaya disappeared into the blood-red sea below. They jumped. What the hell were they thinking? They chose their own fate. Don't let it phase you. The operation has only begun. Our true adversary is waiting. Focus on that, all right? The shadow up ahead is not moving at the moment. It'll be over if you can defeat it. Oh good, we, we get a chance to regroup. So I am going to switch back to Thor. Actually, Thor is kind of just the factually correct option for this boss fight, now that I think about it. Um, because of his null for strike damage. I wonder, not that I have any intention of changing my party, but does it let you? Yes, it does. Again, I am not going to. I am happy with my choice. But, um... Let's ask about the target. That thing floating in front of you is the last shadow, but it hasn't moved yet. Well... Now's the time. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is it. I'll do everything in my power to help you. Just promise me that you'll be careful. Welcome to the Hanged Man. I think that floating thing is your main target, but it's out of your attack range. Give me a minute. I'll see what I can find out. Bit grotesque, isn't it? How it's hanging by uh, that cross, I think it is, and it's pulling at its skin. Very, very grotesque. 
So, we cannot attack this thing at the moment because we have these statues in front of us, so... I think what we have to do is we have to deal with these statues before we can get... Well, there you go. Before we can get to the main... the main event. Yep. Uh, letting it drop in gives us a free a free all-out attack, which is which is very nice. So this thing attacks predominantly with strike damage. It can hit in hit individually or everyone, but it can also summon a uh, devious Amaya to help it in battle. And if it does that, ooh, nice. Well, they've recovered right away. But if it if it summons a devious Maya. You, you want to get rid of that as soon as possible because the devious Maya can it can it can sacrifice the devious Maya to deal almighty damage to you, which is not very nice. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I don't have any reliable single target physical moves, do I? So let's let's just do a Zeodyne and, and see see what it does. That's a that's a healthy amount of damage. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to heal, I guess. Uh, I'm sure you got he could have handled that, but your physical moves are just your best, huh? Oh, three statues. And up it goes. I don't remember if it can summon devious Mayas on the ground, or if it will only summon them if the statues are still standing. But luckily, we are very reliable at taking care of the statues. We just need to make sure we have the health for it, right? Let us commence with an all fatal so, based on how this is going so far, you know what? I'm not that concerned. I think I think this is going to be just fine. Who are you healing? Are you healing me? That's good. That gives me more ammunition for for fatal end if I need. Okay, it can summon devious Maya while it's on the ground. Good to know. I was about to say if it's summoning a um If it was summoning the statues immediately, that would just be a pain in the ass. Ooh, I wonder if now that Tarukaja has ran out, I wonder if I have enough oomph to take care of the statues in one go. And let's see what a Thunder Call does for us here, because if it shocks the main boss, that's also very helpful. But yeah, we want to take care of the Devious Maya basically as soon as we can. Because... Yeah, it, it can it can sacrifice that thing to do almighty damage to us, and that that just won't be fun at all. Wow, really? I thought you were just gonna physical attack it, and that would have been ideal considering that it is um well it was stunned. And yeah, here's Akasha Arts. That hurt everyone except me, because I null that damage. Uh let's just use Zeo Dive. No need to, no reason to spread out our damage, I don't think. Yeah, I guess that'll do. If he uses Akasha Arts again, though, both Yukari and Ahiko are probably... Okay, they're fine. Oh, and back up into the air it goes. I'm going to... I'm going to put Akiko on heal support as well, actually. Alright, let's see if a vicious strike without Tadukaja one rounds them. It still does! Okay! Then, yeah. Then this is just gonna go really smoothly, because we're, we're just gonna be able to... We're just gonna be able to knock it down immediately. And, uh, continue on with our all-out attack, which... 500 damage, that's that's a healthy amount. Help 
Matarunda. That'd be pretty nice, especially if it hits us with a an Akasha Arts again. But instead, it's looking like it's just gonna summon a Maya. And as such, uh, I guess. You go after that, because if it if it shocks again, I want you to get a critical hit. Yeah, looks like it can get shocked, but the Maya can't, so critical hit. It didn't once more, so I guess you just can't once more off this boss. But it was still worth it. Shot. Oh. I guess... I guess that was a misplay, but that's okay. He used Akasha Arts. He sure is, so I'm gonna take this assigned target off, because we can't knock down the boss, so there's no... There's no reason for it. I will use Thunder Call again, though, because critical hits are pretty nice. And I still have the SP for it, so why not? <laughs> How many of those do you have in your back pocket, I guess? Well, now it has all three debuffs, so it, it's lost all the Chaos Emeralds. Um... I'm surprised that it is staying on the ground. I thought it would be absolutely trying to retreat to midair now. I think I can safely do one more, yeah, I only have room for one more Thunder Call after this, but. Oh, nice, critical hit. That was actually very good. Thank you, I guess. And then Ahiko. There you go. That's what I was expecting you to do, because I knew you had healing. But I do guess, I guess you prioritize debuffs before you prioritize healing. It keeps summoning that Maya, huh? By all means, continue wasting your turn. I'm perfectly on board with that, though this is the last Thunder Call I can do. I like how I simply do not have enough, just barely not enough damage to kill the Devious Maya. Sure. Are you finally ascending back into the skies? Looks like it, yeah. Not that it'll do you much good, because I can destroy those statues immediately with Thor. But, you know... Oh, I missed one of them. Oh, uh, that's not fantastic. Hmm, maybe I should have changed Akiko off heal support. Akiko, be a deer. Thank you. Oh, critical hit as well. <laughs> nice. That does mean that we're not going to get the rest of their turns to use on the Hanged Man. But if our all at attack here finishes it off, then that won't be a problem. It does not. It's knocking us back. That... Never mind. Yes, it did. No, it summoned once more. Okay. <laughs> Is it running away? Bruh. Uh, well, let's just change our, our, our tactics to full assault now, then, because it's gonna be dying. And if I miss, I didn't miss. They're all gone. Okay. <laughs> it immediately just ran away, huh?
The statues can attack, by the way. <laughs> they can use Agilao, Bufala, and Zionga. Um... <laughs> Thor's just too strong for this boss, I guess. Yo! Another level up, let's go! Is it over? Operation completed, or should I say, mission complete. Yes, it's finally over. I believe a celebration is in order. What will be our victory cheer? <laughs> Can we go home now? No. Hip hip hooray! One, two, three. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> what was that? So, uh, Senpai, you're gonna throw us a party tomorrow, right? You don't waste any time, do you? Well, I suppose I could arrange for it. Ooh, in that case, how about sushi? Sushi, huh? It's been a while. Well, I've got dibs on the halibut and sea urchin. Oh, then I call the fatty tuna. Um, we're divvying it up already? In that case, save me the salmon roe. Hey, wait a minute. You can't do that. I reserve the shrimp, squid, scallops, and sea eel. Hey, that's not fair. You don't even eat. You should all be ashamed of yourselves fighting over sushi. Senpai, please order tamago for me. They say you can tell a chef's skill by how he prepares eggs. Um, how old are you again? Okay, okay, I'll have the very best delivered tomorrow. For real? Oh man, it's great to be alive. Don't get too excited, Junpei. You're getting the leftovers. <laughs> Should you not just order enough so that everyone could get what they like? <laughs> Especially when you have Kirijo group money. <laughs> there should be enough that people don't have to call dibs over specific pieces. Come on. What? Well, b b but it was my idea in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think Aiga should get to eat all the sushi she can take. I guess it's time to say goodbye to the dark hour. Even though it seemed like a curse, for some reason I'm reluctant to let it go. Yeah. We really did it, didn't we? Yes. We saved the world. Even if no one knows it. The dark hour has come to an end.